Go ahead. Uh, I'll follow up on the international law question because sure. uh, on Saturday, uh, an Israeli airstrike uh, killed uh, four children and three siblings uh, of my colleague from Anadolu, uh, Mohammed Alalu. Uh, their house was just completely uh, destroyed uh, when an Israeli airstrike targeted the Al Magazi refugee camp. Um, they were, of course, among the other uh, thousands of other Palestinians who were killed. You have been calling on Israel uh, to, to uh, act, act in line with international law and minimize harm to civilians. Uh, but does the US, uh, I mean, do you think that uh, calls from the US to Israel have been you know, insufficient I in terms of forcing uh, Israel to act in line with international law? Uh, again, I'm just not going to get into the specifics of uh, these ongoing diplomatic conversations that are that are happening. Um, we have been incredibly clear with our Israeli partners uh, that uh, civilians uh, need to be protected, that uh, they need to distinguish between Hamas terrorists um, and Palestinian civilians, uh, and we believe that we will continue to raise that, and we'll continue to raise that directly with our Israeli yeah, partners. Yeah, you have been say, saying that for a while, like civilians need to be protected. Uh, but you know, I think m millions of people uh, around the world uh, are waiting for uh, a clear answer from the U.S. to to uh, that question because we have been uh, giving an unconditional support to Israel. Uh, the question is, you know, uh, does the U.S. support Israel's such actions? But or are you concerned by them? We believe uh, that Israel has every right to defend itself and to defend its security. Uh, we believe that uh, what transpired on October 7th um, is uh, n not something that any country uh, in the world uh, would be able to accept. Uh, and it is I incredibly imperative that uh, steps are taken to ensure that Hamas uh, can't uh, carry out these kinds of attacks again. Uh, simultaneously, uh, we believe that even though Hamas uses civilians um, as shield, even though Hamas has uh, integrated uh, its network of tunnels and its infrastructure amongst civilian infrastructure in Gaza, that uh, Hamas has co-located itself in some of these uh, key civilian areas like schools, hospitals, etc. In spite of all that, we continue to believe that it is incredibly important for Israel to distinguish between Hamas terrorists and Palestinian civilians, and we'll continue to raise that directly uh, and clearly with our Israeli partners. Uh, the Secretary will do that, and others in the administration will do that, and we'll continue to engage in this diplomacy.